Somebody's supposed to make a PayPal. The stock of the online payments kingpin has been running since we last spoke to the CEO back in February. But since the election, PayPal shares have been under pressure, even as the averages have roared higher. Today is Cyber Monday, the biggest online shopping day of the year, yet PayPal stock actually went lower? I mean, come on. First, the company's most recent quarter reported a little more than a month ago was good. Inline earnings, modestly higher than expected revenues, slightly raised outlook for the year. Uh, and PayPal inked some major partnerships with Visa and MasterCard in recent months that could give the business a nice boost. However, there's one serious issue here, and it's, it's with the stock of PayPal, not the company. For a long time, money managers flocked to the non-bank financials like this one in order to get exposure to the financial sector without being exposed to the ultra-low interest rates that were making life difficult for the banks. Since Trump's surprise victory, though, long-term rates have been soaring, and next month the Fed is likely to raise short-term rates as well, possibly the first of many rate hikes. All this makes the actual banks much more attractive, hence the huge rally in that group. But it also removes a key reason for money managers to own stocks of PayPal, even if they're doing terrific. The question is, can this company do well enough to triumph over the headwinds created by the mechanics of the money management business? Let's take a closer look with Dan Schulman. He's the CEO of PayPal to get a better sense of his company's prospects. Mr. Schulman, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, Dan. Jim, great How to are you? you too. Very good. Now, Thanks. before Cyber Month, and I know that's, of course, obviously today, so yeah. we don't have your number on that, but you were doing uh, we're on track to process well over $100 billion in mobile payment volume. That will be, um, this was from your October call. Right. That will be still on track, better, whatever? Well, our results uh, last quarter when we reported those were up 56% year over year. So that $100 billion run rate that we were on was up 56%. What we're seeing on this kind of Black mm -hmm. Friday weekend right is that for the first time, you're going to hit a billion dollars of mobile sales on Black Friday, a billion dollars. Billion dollars. First time ever. So you're seeing mobile up dramatically, as all of online is right now. And we're riding that wave, in fact, leading that wave in many ways. All right. Now, Venmo, also, the numbers were extraordinary. You had an increase of 131% year over year as of the last quarter. Still accelerating? Yeah, Venmo as we've talked about many right. times, is the way that millennials manage and move their money. So we did almost $5 billion of transactions in the third quarter. Almost a $20 billion run rate, if you can imagine, for Venmo. It was just named Times App of the Year for 2016, and millennials are flocking to it. Now, you made these partnerships with Visa and MasterCard, but you are much more, I think, ahead of them in mobile. I mean, do you really need them? Yeah, so we made these partnership uh, deals with Visa, MasterCard, Facebook, American Mobile, Vodafone. So we've actually partnering across the world yeah. right now okay. in many ways. And it wasn't that we needed these partnerships. What we did is we did a strategic choice um, within the company of basically saying, let's give our customers the choice of how they want to pay and where they want to pay when using PayPal. And that led to very interesting partnerships and opportunities with the networks and with financial institutions across the world. Is there anything meaningful you can report yet that shows that they've caused a further acceleration in your business? So the early results, and I just want to highlight that it's they're very early, very early yeah, I mean, right? Yeah. So I don't extrapolate from early results. I like to see kind of how they... Uh, kind of go over a, a multi-quarter period. But the early results are very encouraging, okay. right in line with the projections, maybe slightly better than the projections okay. that we thought. So we're encouraged by that. All right, terrific. Now, one of the things that I like about you, and we've been asking about a lot of companies that are getting and attracting the best young people. Fortune 2016 uh, award for uh, Change the World. What are some of the things you're doing about changing the world? Yeah, so we think that um, doing good is a responsibility mm -hmm. for all companies. We can't just rely on the public sector or the private sector. We all need to work together. And our mission and vision is to help businesses to grow, which of course is great for right. families of small businesses, communities, neighborhoods. And you're talking about businesses around the world. You're not just around talking about the world. small business, like some credit card companies have small business Friday or whatever like that. Yeah. No, around the world. We're in right. 200 countries, and we're trying to help the, all of those small businesses to grow, either by making uh, opening up them to global consumers. We have 192 million people using the platform now, up 4.5 million just the last right. quarter alone. So we're helping small businesses. We're also helping consumers 
to make it easier to do transactions, faster, simpler, more secure, less expensive to do basic financial transactions. Well, tell me what, what that'll mean for Giving Tuesday. So Giving Tuesday is, a, is one of the largest days of charitable giving. Tomorrow? And the PayPal platform is ideal for okay. that. Last holiday period, 7.25 million people gave over $850 million to 250,000 charities through PayPal. Really? We were, we... See, you know, that is a statistic. Okay. We're all cynical. See, yeah. I sit back and I just say, okay, don't, just break the form here. That's extraordinary. It's amazing. Last year, we did $48 million in donations in a 24-hour period on uh, Giving Tuesday. Wow. That broke every record. Last year, we were $19 million. This past year, $48 That's million. incredible. Now, you were down with President Obama when he went to Cuba. And, you know, there's a new regime coming. Yep. Uh, can things really be unwound? I mean, you're just beginning to get credit down there. Why would that be in any president's interest to roll back? Yeah, well, I think we need to see with the new administration coming in right. what the congressional clarity is yes. around the regulations concerning Cuba. But when I was down there, I met with lots of entrepreneurs. That's what I spent most of my time right. uh, talking to. And they want to become part of the world community. They want to open up so that consumers outside of Cuba can buy their goods and they can sell their goods. Well, PayPal could be ahead of every other credit card company there. This is ground field, right? This isn't just a total greenfield solution for you? Well, we are perhaps one of the leading international remittance players right. in With the world. Zoom. With Zoom, exactly. And uh, remittances are a large part of the GDP of many countries. And so we can help facilitate global trade. Cuba, though, we'll have to see. Right. It's not it's ne not necessarily going to be able to. We don't know. We yet. don't know yet. And then also um, on Stripe valuation, see, they just raised, you know, to be a level nine billion. I mean, I look at your company. Your, your company is a lot bigger, growing pretty amazingly. How Perfect. do we justify some of these crazy valuations? Well, it's hard for me to right. talk about another company. But say, well, I look at it and it's hard yeah. for me to justify. How about that? And yeah. you could say, yes, Jim, I can understand your I, confusion. Well, there's a competitive announcement almost right. every and week. And Callison's an interesting thing. Yeah, but think about it. The e-commerce or online digital payments market is a $100 trillion addressable wow. market. So you're going to have companies constantly trying to come in. But during that time, for all of those announcements, like since Apple Pay was right. announced, we've put on 35 million net new Customers. That's real. We've business. taken our transactions per active from 27 to 30. So we're growing and separating ourselves out by having great value propositions and continually innovating. Right. And Stripe competes with Braintree. I put Braintree right. up against anybody in the market. Well, right. And as we announced with Braintree, in the last three years, they've grown 25 times their transaction no, value. You, your growth is terrific and the numbers are amazing. That's Dan Schulman, President and CEO of PayPal, PYPL. Undervalued because of what I was telling you about, people selling these kinds of stocks, going into banks. But these have real growth and that's what matters. Man Money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.